What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is DJ and Welcome back to the next episode of the Pillars of the Earth, where we are just starting chapter two. And we can't see what chapter two is, but we are we are this dude. We are um. No, we cannot see we we who we are. But we must hunt for food. Well, let's go uh, do that. Hoofprints. Deer marks. Fresh. Stay alert, Jack. Okay, we're Jack. Good to know. We go over here? No. Oh, hello. Slingshot. There you are. Now, don't move. I'll be soon be over. Yeah. Oh. It ran away. Ooh, there you are. Let's try again. Oh, yeah, we did it. Yes. Oh, what are you? What a waste. Can we check you out? What happened to you? Okay. Let's go to the dead deer. Oh, glad we didn't have to see that. My name is Jack. For a long time, it was the only name I had known. I was born and raised in a cave by my mother. We were used to getting by, but that year the winter had been harsh. Um, is it supposed to be a black screen? I was screen? proud to have oh. killed my first okay. deer that day. And while waiting for mother to help me cure it, I decided to practice my reading. The cave. The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great, has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. <laughs> he has conquered the highlands and the plain. Uh, Remember the verse. Now look it up. Before him, not a single fort remains. <sighs> If we look it up, we'll remember it later. For him, not a single fort remains. Afternoon was approaching fast, and Mother still hadn't returned. So, if I wanted to cure the meat, I had to do it on my own. Else it would all go to waste. So you live in a cave? Wow. Soon I will know it all by heart. Smoked meat. Okay, let's uh Mother needs to chop more wood. Where is she anyway? My first deer, mother will be so proud. I can't eat it raw. I need to cure it. Meat goes bad fast. Okay. Our last nuts and turnips. The rest has gone moldy. Mother says it's the worst winter ever. Anything else we can use? One book is in French, the other is in Latin. Okay, let's see if we can get something outside. Huh? 
What's that? What's that noise coming from the forest? Just slingshot practice. Let's grab some. Quicks covered in snow. Perfect for smoking mead. Okay, let's do that first. Let's uh, use the twigs on the hurt. Hmm. The fire isn't warm enough. I need some dry wood. Okay, let's go look for dry wood. Where is the dry wood in here? Is there? Is there dry wood in here? Logs, here we go. Let's throw these on it, there. It's warmer. Mother will be proud. Now, what's that noise? Can't Can we grab more. some now? Okay, we've done that. Let's go check out the noise in the woods. Follow the noise. I hear a baby. Can build, can throw. Too big to be useful. The ice broke. It hasn't mended yet. We better stay alert. Oh, I know where we're going. I know exactly where we're going. Mm. It was hit by something sharp. That was no animal. We are going to the builder. Hey there, horsey. Did, did the builder leave the baby? Are you kidding Good. me? He hasn't seen you. Who is he? A whip. That's what he is. A whip. That means he's someone bad. I told you about people like him, remember? Is he a monk? Why? And never trust a man of God. Least He's a nice least dude. Compassion. You'll either end up in a monastery or at the gallows. Get down. Easy now, it's just someone little. No need to be afraid. I'm going to follow him. You go home and wait for me, little cub. Uh-oh. Piece of cloth covered in blood. Did the monk leave it? No, the builder did. Let's take it. Something was buried here. Food, some treasure. No, the mother. <gasps> I want to go home. Well, I guess we better go home then. Nothing else we can do here. Back into the forest. Mother? Mother? 
Wait, what? I think mother is gone. We can't follow her. So we best go back home. Kill the pig thief in Salisbury. We can kill you too. Why would you kill me? Where's the baby? Did you eat it? Yeah. I, don't I don't have, have a baby. baby. Right. What's this? Give it back. What do you want with this? You can't read. Give it back. Leave the boy be, Alfred. Yeah, Alfred. He, Leave me he be. He took the baby. I saw him take mother's cloak. He's the only one around. Who else would have taken it? Wolves. It was a monk. A monk took it. A monk? Yes, on a horse. Is that true? Where did he go? He should take us there. Leave him alone. He's just a boy. What is your name, boy? Just a boy. Jack. Let's be you honest. Live in these woods, Jack. Then you know this place better than us. Please. I don't know why I left the child. I thought I couldn't take care of him alone, but I what? cannot leave him to Jesus, die. Jesus, why did you leave the baby? I have to know Dumbass. if he's all right. Will you help us? Nod. You're a good lad. I owe you. If you want your silly book back, you better keep your word. Oh, just punch him. For now, I had no choice. The girl was sobbing while her father remained tense but quiet. The boy kept on pushing me, which confused me greatly. I had never been hated before. If I had any plans of getting away, it would be like hunting deer. I had to stay sharp until the others forgot to be. Ooh, this is new. Let's uh, follow the monk's trail. The monk had crossed a small stream, or he had followed its course north, which would have led him towards the next village. Either way, the tracks ended at a riverbed as evening was fast approaching. The big man looked at me. Which way, boy, he asked. But I could only guess. Um, follow the river or cross the river. Where is? Well, he was going there. But he's from St. John in the forest. So I guess here. The stream led us to a more convenient crossing. Here, one could easily pass without getting drenched in icy water. Suddenly, the boy called out. He had spotted something on the other bank. A set of fresh hoof prints. He laughed triumphantly as our eyes locked. Admit his success. So, we crossed the river. The boy cheerfully mocking my skills as a tracker. <laughs> Oh well. Keep on walking. I thought he would go there to St. John in the forest. What is it? 
He got us lost. Did you? Papa, I'm tired. That's all right. Come on, up on my shoulders you go. No, I'm too heavy, and you're too tired anyway. I will remain steadfast. You should all get some rest. Alfred, stay here with them while I take a look ahead. No, don't go. I won't be far, dear. Besides, you can do me a favor while I'm gone. Have an eye on the lads and make sure they get some sleep, all right? All right. See? You are steadfast. I won't be long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave your other kids behind as well. You stay where I can see you while my sister rests. And no tricks. Dumbass. Get your book back. Well, that's something we can do in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. For more Pillars of the Earth, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.